It's got dark vision at the moment. Okay, so the two of you can clearly see that you're in a tunnel and it's, it's dark, but there's enough light that you kind of get some pretty pretty decent vision, right? Um, so go ahead. I cast light on my midriff leather armor, <laughs> and I now have glowing midriff leather armor. Okay, so <laughs> yes! in, in a sort of like, are you, are you, how is that? Is it basically as if you've got like a belly piercing kind of light, or is that a. I know, so it's on my armor. Oh, you're just casting on your armor, so it's like you're just glowing. Yeah, so I'm just glowing, but I mean, like my abs are illuminated. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and so, and so, basically, wherever Barrel looks, there's just this sort of bright um, light kind of hitting from that direction. Yeah. So, uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm probably going to say that outside. What are, what are you? What are, what are you two doing? I'm going to check with Karim if this is the place that they will be talking at, or if it's somewhere else. Oh, that's a good idea. If it's somewhere else, I'm going to need you to do your thing again. I'll uh, hang out with the ambassador, I guess. I mean, the emissary. There's, there's no need, honestly. Please go take some rest. I'll be right. fine here. That scene is enough for you to see the mild look of panic at the idea that you're going to leave the emissary with Barra. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everything is to your liking. I think this is... Oh, yes, yes. The room is very nice. The emissary is comfortable. That, that, that's fantastic. Right? Thank you for the light. Uh, it helps. Yes, I, we often forget down here that there are folks who... Cannot see the dark. Yes. Like, this is not comfortable, but it is, it is um, not unhygienic, right? It's tidy, it's well kept, but it's dusty, and it is, like, no one can see it, see down here, so no one's really, like, keeping, making sure that everything is. But anything that is, there's nothing to bear, things are patched, things are looked after, right? The, the stools are in one piece, the tables are in one piece. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like a three-legged bar where there's nothing just everywhere. Like, you know, obviously, during, it takes time and effort to make sure this place is kept. When the ambassador comes, yeah. will they be having the meeting in that room, or is there somebody else that they will be going to? Uh, no, I, 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 I fully have been given to be told that the ambassador Giovanna will uh, engage with the ministry in this room. Uh, of course, they outrank me by so much that it is not. Uh, I, yeah, I'm just the janitor. Wow, you're more than that. Look at the state of this place. It's yeah. very well kept. Look at your beard. It's gorgeous. But uh, just because I'm a janitor does not mean I can have a nice beard. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean that. Uh, I mean, uh, look, I, I'm sorry, uh, you, you can't really get a date because you're a minor, but uh, look, like, it's, I, I, I don't mean to say anything. I'm, you know, you know, you find this hilarious. Yeah. Uh, what is your name? Um, my name's uh, Barra, but uh, uh, we're, we're pals now. You can call me a Baza. Baza. Yeah, it's short for Barra. Baza, Baza did. Yeah, yeah. And Why? Huge meaty boy. Oh, wow, it's a big hand. Oh, Baza, very nice. Um, yeah. Uh, well, that's... Uh, <laughs> It's a good joke, it's very funny. Yeah, yeah, um, I mean, like my teacher wouldn't go, wouldn't go out with me because I, I was a minor, so it was really weird. Like, um, I've never minded a thing in my life, but apparently I, I belong down here with you. Anyway, yeah, what were, what were you about to say? I, for some strange reason, all of my thoughts have now just disappeared. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> she has that effect on people. <laughs> okay, so... Um, You're so is heading back to report. Uh, to our emissary. I've gone to uh, talk to Kie. Because I'm just telling her, like, this is a negotiation mission. You're being too quiet. Come look at me. I'm, I'm talking as much as I can. You need to talk. <laughs> I'm trying not to disturb uh, the misery. The, no, she, she, that's what she's here for. She's hired to talk. She's hired to, it's hard to talk. Go talk to her. So, like, tell her, like, what your favorite color is or something. All right? Or, like, uh, tell her about your family or pets. Or, uh, like, uh, come on, then. Well, go on. Like, let's practice. I was uh, trained to appreciate silence because that is where the deepest thoughts, you know, arise. Oh, no. Nah. Something that, that you might nah. gain from. Hmm? That's it. She's a monk. She's All right. A <laughs> little monk. Yeah, but she's like a young girl, you know? She's, she's, she's one more. All right, you know, like obviously, like they said, one person who was right for this mission. Well, I'm going to talk to as many people as I can. Bara should continue talking to our new, her new friend, uh, his new friend. Uh, maybe here yeah, you can go and share this information with the necessary. No, I don't uh, like talking. <laughs> I talk when it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're making good friends. I'm very proud of you. Oh, thanks. Yes, uh, we wouldn't have found all that out if you didn't. It is not right. I am a humble 
janitor and I am not particularly of uh, any it knows. tells me that your beard carries great significance. Thanks. Oh, uh, beards are a thing of meaning. And we would be so honored that you could share it with us. For example, Basa here has always wanted a beard, but does not have one externally. But internally, he has been cultivating for years. I... Right. Oi! Come on then, you stupid bull! Look this way! And I uh, shout, uh, and I whisper a discordant melody. I didn't get that at the right hand, I was like, that's fantastic. Uh, Listen to whispers, let's see if you can't find. And uh, let's, uh, it has to re roll a spell save DC at 15. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna tell him a joke. Alright, you can't answer, so I'm just gonna say for you, like, who's that? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 interrupting chicken and interrupting cow. No, you have to. All right, right I'll interrupt myself. All right, no, 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 no. Move! All right, never mind. Well, that was funny, wasn't it? Come on, come on, laugh a little bit. I'll show you this laughter. <laughs> right? there, there is a moment when. <sighs> As it sort of hits back spasms and it's sort of just the strangest of grinding gears of metal cow noise just kind of turns into this, you know, it's sort of forced laugh. As it, uh, I believe it falls prone at this point. Yeah, it does fall prone. Yeah, as it's sort of like, it's a slam onto the ground you hear like two or three tons worth of like and like metal and it's just like this laughs for a minute right. for the round